Hi everyone, this is Ahmed Dini from Lul Solutions. Just to give you a bit of background, um, my team at Lul Solutions and I have been working on the development of a modern tablet based point of sale with JHipster. And the idea is to develop an iOS and Android clients um, with React Native, but also generated with um, JHipster's Ignite generator and also at the back on the back end side to generate um, the services and the admin interface or and the back office basically with jhipster so far we've made a lot of very good progress but there is a lot of development to be done at some point after long discussion we thought about um, open sourcing this project and also um, recording videos of the experiences that we had um, developing with jhipster um, we've been developing with jhipster for nearly two three years now and we have a lot of expertise in-house that we can share with um, new developers or experienced developers that um, have not experienced the parts that we have developed with um, and the idea also is to give back to the community and learn from the community and also see this product basically um, flourish um, it's also a very good example for J hipster um, and not only an example but it's very good um, for J hipster because we would have a real-world example system a point of sale that was developed with J hipster but also goes um, with it the tutorials from the beginning to the end how to um, develop this system with J hipster this will attract a lot of junior developers because I personally know how much headache I went through learning J hipster when I first started like um even sometimes I've learned like things that I never needed even to learn like yeoman and all that kind of stuff and being a Java developer um, you know getting into a JavaScript world wasn't an easy but um, if we share our knowledge like I said and expertise and what we've gone through and obstacles we've faced um, with the um, the community I think um, we would we could make this a big product and and we have still like I said we've not finalized the decision but if we see very good interest or maybe a lot of interest from the community that they want this project to be open sourced um feel free to contact us via the email um i have shared on here if you think um we should um open source even though we're going to continue recording the videos um but we cannot make the source code public but one of the reasons why um we didn't want to do that and one of the examples because I, I need to share with you here so that at least if you guys can do something with um, one of the reasons because we have to finish this um, project um, in two months and at Lul Solutions we normally um, a closed internal um, company that work only um, proprietary um, software and recently we started working with open source stuff and we don't know much about um, open sourcing um, softwares and we've realized that there is a lot of um, work to be done like documentations and, and and preparing and also think reading about licenses and all that kind of stuff that we have no experience but if you guys are willing to help and and we're happy to um, basically to put this forward and maybe have a second thought again um, I'll quickly share with you what we have developed so far um, and still, like I said before, it's still under development. And this these screens that you're going to see are um, have been developed with React JS. Um, and the generator we have used is JHipster's Ignite um, generator, um, which is based on React Native, but also um, allows us to have um, Android and iOS applications. Um, and universal applications that can be run on um, tablets as well as phones. Um, so there is a lot of progress, like I said before, um, that we have made. Um, it's it's a working um, system, but there, there is a lot of work that has been done on the back end. There is also a lot of work that has been on the front end. We have internal um, very good designers, um, as you can see, but also um, we have also back end developers and testers and and in total we're like eight developers eight employees and each person is specializing in it is own and we would like to put all these um 
you know, workforce on open source. And also if we can get um, help from other developers, we're happy to um, contribute um, not only um, to this particular um, project, but also because we use um, JHipster in the back. We develop, um, we already have a lot of um, libraries and JavaScript libraries and Java um, libraries that we would like to share and contribute back to JHipster as well, even though it's the first time that all of our developers um, have done because we've been going through the, um, the the guidelines and there's a lot to read and ways to write the code and all that kind of stuff. So we don't want to just um, make mistakes straight away, um, especially when you can avoid them by just reading some guidelines. So um, here we are. Um, like I said, it's just those um, screens so far, but there's a lot of other screens that I have not taken and also um, the designs all that kind of stuff. So this video is just like talking about the software and in the next video I need to talk about um, how to generate um, JHipster application from JDL. And if, if I go back uh, to the list of stuff that I'm planning to do on the next um, tutorial or the next video um, is going to be this list of minimum 16 and 17 items and um, I've not seen a lot of people generating um, jhipster application um, even on YouTube or anywhere um, from JDL straight away but also we would be um, adding our own business logic so we have no problems just showing your code and the designs and all that kind of stuff um, to share with you um, but that's I think that is where we we are so far thank you very much for um, listening and I know a lot of developers expect to see some code, but if you want to see some um, geeky stuff, please watch the next video um, when we're doing implementing these steps. Thank you very much.